Hi Campbelltown, I'm Mayor Jill Whitaker. Last month, the newly upgraded Foxfield Oval change rooms were opened by the Honourable Corey Wingard, Minister for Recreation, Sport and Racing, and myself. The new facilities incorporate public toilets, male change rooms, and new female change rooms to provide equitable access and meet the growing demands for women's sport in the area. The modern change rooms have been jointly funded by Council and the State Government's Grassroots Football, Cricket and Netball Facility Program. Fantastic! Hi, I'm Dan Wynn, local resident and Campbelltown's 2021 Citizen of the Year Award recipient. Being Citizen of the Year was a huge honour and privilege to recognise some of the work I've done in our community. Since the award, I've continued to advocate community inclusion for our residents, looking out for our neighbours and our friends. Examples of this include connecting neighbours through street parties and regular catch-ups, and encouraging sustainable living through shared waste disposal and recycling. I was honoured to have represented the Council at the Harmony Week events, which celebrated Campbelltown's rich cultural diversity. I've also attended the State Reconciliation Week events with Council representatives. As we have progressed through our second year of a pandemic, as a healthcare worker, I've advocated for the mental health care of our local residents as we endured further lockdowns and uncertain times. Nominations are now open for the 2022 Australia Day Awards. If you know someone that makes our Campbelltown community a better place, why not nominate them for Citizen of the Year, Senior Citizen of the Year, or Young Citizen of the Year? Nominations close on Friday the 19th of November, 2021 with winners announced at the Council's 2022 Australia Day celebrations. To find out more and to make a nomination, head to our Council's website. Hello, my name's Glenda Sherwin Lane and I'm the President of U3A Campbelltown, South Australia. U3A stands for University of the Third Age and it is an international not-for-profit organisation that enables people who are over 50 who are not working more than 20 hours a week to stay connected to members of their local community. We charge $55 a year per member and that entitles you to join any class or group that's being operated throughout the year. Currently we're running about 37, 38 classes and groups throughout the year. Each year, at the beginning of November, we publish a prospectus and that advertises the classes and groups that we'll be holding in the following year and we encourage people to enrol. It's a great way of staying in touch, it's a great way of staying active mentally, physically and socially and I encourage you all to come along and see what we do and give some thought to joining us. Ripples Community Arts have recently completed an eight-year-long project to beautify the bioretention pits throughout Lock Hill Park. The Drain Waves project delights residents and visitors alike as they discover the many varying works designed by local artists based on the river and the local environment. Ripples Community Arts provides a welcoming space where artists of all ages and from all walks of life in Campbelltown can support and encourage each other in their artistic endeavours in pottery, welding, sculpting, textiles, drawing, ceramics and of course the mosaics. <music>